Hi, I'm Kelly Payne from Meat and Livestock Australia. For over two decades, Meat Standards Australia has developed an eating quality program for beef and sheep meat. We've conducted over 1.2 million sensory taste tests with untrained consumers to verify eating quality. We currently have 275 cut by cook combinations across the beef carcass and nine across sheep meat. This means we have 12 cook methods across most cuts in a beef carcass and two for sheep meat to ensure that consumers get the right cut by cook combination every time. The end result of consumer sensory is we have four eating quality grades. They are fail, three star, four star and five star. And we will discuss this in detail as we look at different cuts. Today, we're going to look at the cut by cook outcomes for an MSA rump. In fact, we're going to look at the cut by cook outcomes for the individual subprimals of a rump and the MSA cook methods that we can apply to those. So we have five muscles in this rump today. Normally there would be six, which would include the tri-tip, but we only have five. So we have the rump cap, we have the gluteus medius or the rump center, and we have the gluteus excessus here or the pillow stake, and then we have the undercut muscle here, which is the gluteus profundus. And there's a fast array of eating qualities right across the rump. And we'll talk about what consumers said about the variation in eating quality between these muscles. First of all, we're going to remove the undercut muscles here, which includes the pillow steak and the profundus muscle or the undercut muscles here. And we just by simply following the muscle seams, we can very easily take these muscles off and we'll expose the gluteus medius or the rump center of the steak. So we'll quickly remove this. And what's really unique about the rump is the variation in eating quality, or in fact, all of the muscles in a rump, and that is quite unique, that all of the muscles are actually grillable, uh, or almost all. And there we have the pillow steak or the gluteus accessoris and the gluteus profundus underneath. What we have left is the two main muscles, although we do have the gluteus medius broken into two muscles, which we'll look at in a moment. So what we'd like to do now is to remove the rump cap from the rump center and we'll roll out the rump center as we go. So if we just clean up a little bit of the, the fat and connective tissue underneath, and we'll expose the seam of the rump center here, as we can see. And if we follow it all the way around, we will just simply roll out the rump center. And we can sometimes just get rumps apart by not only using a knife, but we can also pull muscles apart so that we're getting the best yield that we possibly can. Making sure that we retain all of the, the muscles that belong to each cut. And there we have it, the rump center and the rump cap. So the rump cap is a, a beautiful cut according to consumers. In fact, it is almost um, a four star some of the time. We're looking at a variation in eating quality between the rump center and the rump cap of around 10%, which is quite something. And when we put rump to consumers, it's quite interesting that they said that, uh, and most of us would know, that the rump itself the whole rump itself is quite often a four star as an eating quality as a roast. So there we have the rump cap, or sometimes known as a picanha, and it becomes the silver side, believe it or not. And it's a beautiful cut of meat. There's something very special about the rump center that we can do now, that when we look at the first, there's a, our first cut of rump often has a big piece of gristle in the front, and all of the muscle fibers are actually very kind. They all run this way. So if we follow this big bit of gristle here in the front, it will expose this big bit of silver skin, which allows us to separate two muscles here, which are known as the eye rump center and the eye rump side. So we'll just follow this through separate these muscles out 
And whilst it is the same muscle, the gluteus medius, consumers have told us that this muscle and this muscle actually eat with an eating quality difference of about 2%. So not a lot of difference, I guess, um, from what consumers said. But what's quite interesting about this cut of meat, as you can see, is that it has a very favorable shape when it comes to portioning. If we were to use this as a table steak or a smaller steak option for consumers, rather than a big giant rump steak, depending on your family, meal size, how many grams you need, uh, commercial cookery, for instance, we could use this kind of cut. If we just remove a little bit of fat and connective tissue here, what we can then do is we can make a portion and we can see that the portion size and the shape of that cut is quite extraordinary. And this would be a, a three star normally steak. So there we have it, the three major subprimals of rump. We have the eye rump centre, the eye rump side, and the rump cap, all eligible for a big range of eating quality outcomes, grilling, stir frying, casseroling, roasting, whatever you'd like out of the eating quality program. Whether you're preparing for a backyard barbecue or a large corporate function, the Meat Standards Australia Eating Quality Program ensures that you get the right cut for the right cook method every time.